Well, it's going to be uh, surreal to walk out of this office for the last time. You know, maybe I'll be invited back one day, you never know, but, um, you know, to, to go from it being the sort of second home here at City Hall uh, to walk back out into Churchill Square as a, as a private citizen, that's going to be a big transition after pouring so much of my energy into this into this city via this building. So, um, uh, but I'm looking forward to it too, right? Uh, after, especially after the last uh, couple of years of the pandemic, you know, um, what I'm looking forward to most, especially after 14 years without a break, is that weight coming off, that responsibility of, you know, serving a million people's um, hopes and fears and dreams and concerns. Um, that's a lot to carry. So I'm going to take some time to let that let that weight come off and um, and regroup. And I'm not gonna I'm going to try not to do anything for a couple of months actually. And then beyond that, I don't know. We'll see. I think I'll always be political. I think I was a political person before I I ran. Um, and I think service is hardwired in me. I think I get that from my parents. But there are many different ways to serve. You don't necessarily need to be, and most people don't get to be in uh, elected office. And I've had, um, you know, I feel like I've done that in my life, so I don't feel like I necessarily uh, need to do it again or that there's unfinished business there. But I also wouldn't rule it out. So it's not in the, um, it's not in the immediate plans, um, but, but life is long and there may be other opportunities to serve uh, in either in elected capacity or, or again, there are lots of different ways to, uh, to serve the community. So, so we shall see, but I wouldn't rule it out, but I'm also not, uh, I don't feel like my life would be incomplete if I didn't. So that question is genuinely up in the air for me right now. You know, certainly the age my kids are at right now, that was a factor in, in the decision whether to run again or not. Um, and the, you know, m my desire to spend some more time with them at, you know, before they're teenagers at least and when they still want to have their, uh, their, their dad around. So um, family considerations, um, but those are, you know, those are a point in time too. Timing, timing was a factor in those considerations, um, and it's less a, a question of a political party or a brand. And for me, some of the considerations, I did give it some thought. Um, some of the considerations were, you know, the, the challenges the country's going through uh, in light of COVID, and some of the changes that are happening in the structure and fabric of the country, particularly as it relates to the role of cities. And so there was some appeal to that and some, some sense of duty around the, the, issues, um, the issues that are at stake for the country in light of COVID. And so I gave it, I gave it some thought on that basis, but, um, um, but yeah, ultimately it's not the right, it's not the right time. And that time away from my kids, I think as, as, as important as those issues are, um, that commute is a really tough one for people with small kids. The city's still growing and it, we're not losing young people um, in, in, in an alarming way, the way that it's become a, a topic of conversation in Calgary. And I think there's a number of different factors. I think there's quality of life factors. I think there's cultural factors. I think there's economic opportunity factors. The growth of our tech sector in particular um, as an employment driver is one of those. Um, and the vibe is sort of the other intangible, right? It is a young city and it feels like a young city. And when the pandemic is finally over and we can enjoy it fully again, you know, the food scene and the cultural scene and music and theater, those are the reasons why um, people stay and, and why they contribute and feel connected here. And um, and I think that those things set us apart. There are lots of people, um, you know, including folks running for council right now, um, who, who have gone out of their way to credit um, my leadership and my story as an inspiration to them. And some of those folks I've had a chance to work with and mentor as young leaders. And I'm, you know, uh, fully confident in the future of this place, knowing that that next generation of leadership is, is stepping up into um, into activism, into journalism, into 
uh, civil service and into elected public life.